Yes, I'm Damien Lynn Strohmeyer. My first job in photography was as a darkroom technician at the Topeka Capital Journal newspaper, 1978. And they hired me uh, in kind of an unusual situation. They hired me because they wanted to hire someone who had no experience in photography and did not want to be a photographer. And the reason for that was that uh, that was a hotbed of photojournalism in that newspaper when I was there. And photographers would accept the job as a darkroom technician hoping to get into the photography staff. And they'd had some unsuccessful uh, runs like that where people had not been doing the duties that they were hired to do and so they wanted to try to start over with somebody new and so my mentor Rich Clarkson hired me with that in mind and then of course I ended up becoming a photographer too like a lot of the rest of them. I was a regional photographer of the year at the Denver Post in the you know, late 80s and you know I've covered some Olympic games that were great. I met my wife at the Olympic Games in Calgary which is like you know obviously the best thing that ever happened to me so um, there have been a lot of great career moments and like I don't know that you can quantify a lot of them I mean you know like I've had 70 Sports Illustrated covers and I did more than 2,000 assignments you know while I was on the staff there and so you know there's a lot of um, you know career moments I don't necessarily think about it so much like that I'm always thinking about the next picture frankly I think the key to creative success is keeping that camera up to your face. And I try to keep it up there, you know, two, three, four times a week, every week. If you keep, you know, shooting and you keep challenging yourself and you start to develop a style and you start to, to have a look that is distinctly yours and uh, you continue to, to pound away at it, I think eventually you win. And uh, if nothing else, you win by knocking everybody, you know, continuing when everybody else is ready to quit. You, you, there's no quit in, you know, this business. I mean, it's a challenged industry right now. It's very tough. And um, you're going to have to be relentless to win. You're going to have to be relentless to, to have success, repeated success. So the best advice I can give is, like, educate yourself well so that you know, have good technique going out and, and, and moving forward. Uh, challenge yourself constantly. Uh, photograph subjects that you like, you know, photograph things that interest you, it'll show up in the pictures. Well, you know, the, the easy answer is you're, you're, uh, you work so you uh, don't fail, you know, like <laughs> the fear of failure keeps you working, but I don't think that necessarily. I'm motivated highly, always, any event I go to, well, most any event, I mean, sometimes if you're doing corporate headshots, that may not be, you know, something, but most any event I go to, I always see the potential that there's going to be something great that I'm going to make a photograph that's going to be great or it's going to be something that I'm proud of or the client's proud of, the client's happy with. And so that's what drives you. The, the, the thirst for excellence, I think, always drives you. I just think it's, I think it's been a fascinating business to be in. Uh, you know, I uh, had no idea, you know, getting in the industry 36 years ago that this would be, you know, what it's been. It's been a great ride, and interesting, and I made a lot of uh, great friends and I met my wife on the job, you know, like just a lot of great stuff, you know, it's like it's been a really interesting ride. I'm really, uh, you know, I could have a million stories. I mean, you know, like the stories go on and on and, and uh, I have great friends in the industry and, and had, had wonderful opportunities. I always feel like I was blessed to have had the opportunity to do it. And I think back about now as a, you know, I'm a, pretty much a total freelancer now and um, you know, I have to do a fair amount of bookkeeping and a fair amount of accounting and that kind of stuff. And it's like kind of nice that I had that business background for that, but I hate to do it so much that I'm like, I wonder how bad, a, you know, like an accountant or a marketing guy I would have been because all the things that I like least about the photography business are all things that I studied when I was a business student. So, you know, it worked out good for me. I would have probably been a very frustrated, uh, you know, business person had I not you know, stumble into photography. So I get things always work out, you know, like there's always a plan out there. God always has a plan. I don't think I sound like a religious nut, because I'm not, but but there is a plan out there, and I think you have to let life kind of take you in directions and, and see what happens. <laughs>